welcome to the Yarn is Calling podcast. I forgot my sign. But it's episode 16. Episode 16. Woo. We are at Allison's today. And it is, I think I never said the date last time. Oh. But today is October 21st? Yeah, 21st. 21st. So last, it was, last episode was September something. Right. 16th? 19th? 19th? Ah. Anyway, whatever. It's been a month. Yes. It's been four weeks. It's been one month. Roughly. And it was just Rhinebeck, which neither of us oh. went to this past weekend. Isn't that all the way over in New York? It is. New York is New York Sheep and Wool. Is that what that's called? Uh -huh. Anyway, the big one out here that we go to is Oregon Flock and Fiber Festival, which, which got to we did go to year. this year. We got acquisitions. And of course, I didn't bring a single thing that I bought. I, I forgot to bring all of my things that oh, I bought yeah. there. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay. I just based it. But, also, it's been a year since we started doing this. Oh, yeah. Because when Kirsten and I started at her house, it was the weekend of Rhinebeck and also Fiber Fusion Northwest, which is the fiber event up in Monroe, Washington, which oh. is up by Kirsten's house, and we did go to that. And then we podcasted, we recorded our first podcast that weekend. Oh, so it's our cool. podiversary. Woo. So one year already doing this. Yee. Here we are. Yes. Like so a lot has happened in the last month. Oh, For one yeah. thing, we had Oregon Flock of Fiber. Woo! That was fun. It was cold, but it was fun. So I wasn't able to go for the whole thing because this year I'm working. And same. Right. Working. But, but we went on Sunday. Sunday, so the last day of it, and um, and Heather and the kids went with us as well, like last year, and they loved. Oh, they came with you last year. Yes. Oh, so I cool. went with Gina by Gina and I went on Saturday I last that. year, and then Sunday Heather and I went back oh, with the kids. Okay. Right. Right. So I posted on um, Instagram some pictures of the kids with. Um, and yeah, with the llamas. They loved the friendly <laughs> llamas, the nice llamas, <laughs> the ones that would nuzzle in their faces and stuff. It was really cute. So, and the rabbits and the goats rabbits so and the funny. sheep. And so they had a good time. And so, you know, it, like I said, it was cold, but we had a good well, time. I didn't think it was that cold. I was cold, but I didn't wear a very good coat. I did not wear a proper coat. Well, I should have worn a heavier coat. Well, there you go, then. But I bought lots of yarn. Um, I decided. Okay. So I've decided when I'm buying yarn, I'm going to not keep just buying single skeins of things all the time. Mm. And then that, because my stash is humongous and I have lots of just single skeins. And I can't mm -hmm. do a whole, other than socks and hats, I can't do a lot. And I've done Hundreds of pairs of socks. So many pairs of socks that I really want to do some other things. So if I want to do sweaters and things, I really can't with just single skeins, at least not as well. Unless you do like fades or right, color work. Right, And I don't want all my sweaters to be faded. And then this one is, you know, and I don't want all of them to be that way. <laughs> um, or color work, right. So anyway, what I was looking for at, um, at off was... Maybe getting a sweater's quantity of something. Did you just get one sweater quantity or did you get two? I sort of got two, but I really didn't get a full quantity. I got three skeins. Like a partial sweater. <laughs> yeah, or a light sweater like this. I got three skeins of a fingering weight that were all the same. So for me, that's something because I usually buy only one skein of, mm -hmm. of a single color. And I bought three skeins of a single color. This one took like a skein and a half. So if I do something like this, I can... Um, do a whole sweater out of it, um, a fingering, and then I bought three skeins um, of DK of all the same of DK, which most of the DK sweaters I was looking at later took like four or five. I'm like, huh? So I'm still gonna have to add in something else, or I might contact the people and get um, another skein more. of it later. Yeah. So, and I did buy a, you know, one other single skein because you know I had to reasons. Every once in a while, you just have to. Oh, you yeah. know, you know how that is. But I didn't bring any of it because I forgot. <laughs> you can post a picture or put a picture in the video. <laughs> Kirsten was just texting me. I was just about ready to say, 
actually, I was literally about ready to say right out of my mouth that Kirsten and I recorded. I went up to see Kirsten last week, and so I recorded a little something something with her so you could see baby Flora. She's she so could cute. introduce her. So I'll pop that in. If I can figure out how to do it here, I will. If I can't, I'll just do it at the end. Anyway, and easier. she was just texting me just now, and every time I get a text, it stops our video. So, <laughs> kind of like that's Technology. funny. Technology. It's kind of funny how, anyway, how she's just part of things still, even though she's not here right now. <laughs> so, anyway, and what have you been doing other than off? I've been doing off and working. <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of working, and then I'm not working. I've been binge watching a. The Dungeon and Dragons video series on What's YouTube. It called? It's called well, the group. The channel's called Geek and Sundry. The group, or like the Dungeon and Dragons portion, is called Critical Role. Critical Role. So something that any, my husband uh, watches too. Yeah, a lot of you got any like really Dungeons and Dragons nerds out there watching? You've probably heard of them. Probably. And I've been been I've been watching their first campaign. Which starts in the middle of the story, technically. That's because they they only started streaming the show partway through. Oh, okay. Or their game okay. partway through the series. So. so for those of you who I've been really enjoying it, are not aware or are new, by the way, thank you yes. for joining us today. <laughs> and, um, I'm a nerd. And yes. Geek. And so, oh. yeah, for those of you who are new, um, my husband has been running a Dungeons & Dragons campaign for the last... Several years, he was the dungeon master, and he, they it recently was, just... It was like a year and a half. It was like two and a half years. No, it wasn't that long. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. It felt like a long time. I'm pretty sure it was like a year and a half at most. Well, it felt like a long time. Anyway, <laughs> but he wanted to play. So he's he's been the DM for a while, year and a half or so. Completed that campaign. And now they finished. And now our son-in-law, John, Kirsten's husband... Now he's the DM. Just started a new one yet? New campaign and, yesterday. Right. So they were just down here um, from Washington um, this weekend. And John did the first campaign, and so they were doing that. So it's fun. So when I was talking about Critical Role, it's Dungeons and Dragons. Dra Dungeons and Dragons and, and Geeky those nerdy stuff. Geeky nerdy stuff. So yeah. that's fun for them. Yeah. So anyway, let's get to the knitting. Yes. By the way, this Another is a crafting. knitting podcast knitting and crochet and we also do art. Other crafty things. it's crafts and arts and all the things i mainly knit i do like all the things <laughs> yes you do <laughs> pretty pretty across the board mm -hmm. all the things um yeah i guess i didn't say that at the beginning but this is a, a, a crafting podcast yeah <laughs> yeah we're called the yarn is calling but yes look of all crafts well right yeah, not just fiber crafts. Exactly. So, I have a lot of finished objects, but I've given a lot of them away. <laughs> so I only have actually two to show, but there is one or two that I did show with Kirsten on that recording because it was socks for Flora. So we showed them. So I, I have a couple things. But anyway, okay, and you have a few you. things that you finished. I've got a couple things. All right, do you want to start? I don't, or do you any, want to I don't have any fully finished things, but where are the is there a term for mostly finished? <laughs> MFO? <laughs> mostly finished object? I don't know. But, oh, I've got a mostly finished gnome. I think it needs a face, eh? I, uh, she still needs her nose. <laughs> This was a... So, are you just putting her little hands in her pockets? Is that yeah. what you just did? <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> I should have put more weight in it. She's a little... Weeble wobble? Weeble wobble. But, oh well. Do you guys remember weeble wobbles? Am I... Am I... I'm old. I know of them. <laughs> probably from you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I do have her nose... Her nose is knitted. It's the same yarn as that. Yellowish color. But I haven't sewn it on I yet. I love the little pocket. And there's a little, and there's a scarf I still have to make. But the main, the main knitting is done. 
So cute. So, are you putting eyes or anything, or just the no. nose? Just the, the nose. nose will go right okay. here. Okay. And then the scarf will kind of tie. That's so cute. Under the nose. Right under the nose. Yeah. You know, you could put like a big button at the bottom, and that mm. might could give it a little bit of I have flatness. I have like bean, like like stuffing beans in there, like you're right. making a bean bag. Right, but if you add a button to it, that might just give it one more little yeah. thing to weight it down and keep it. So what's the name of the pattern? It's a, it was a, a mystery gnome knit along. Yes, imagine uh, something. Ima well, the designer is Imagine Landscapes. Uh, it's She's returning the, view the returning viewers may remember the other gnome I knitted. Mm -hmm. Um blue hat, right. green body. It's the same designer. Another she has the gnome. go big or go gnome yep. hat and sweater. Yep. Same gal. And um but you you don't remember the name of that pattern? It'll be in the it'll be in the show notes. Not off the top of it'll my It'll be in the head. show notes. Yeah. Are you digging something else out there? I am. I'm, I thought I had another one. Well, while you're digging that out, I'm going to show this. Because I did show it last time, but I didn't have it on. I had my ranunculus sweater on. We both did. So oh, I thought this time I'll wear this one. Because I didn't, I wasn't going to do a switcheroo with clothing last time. So this <laughs> is the Tia sweater. And I'll put the link to that in the show notes as well. And I did a fade, as you can maybe see. <laughs> do I need to stand up a little bit so you can see? Ta-da! See, it goes... I have peaches down here and pinks up here, and then like a brown color up here. Hey, pink. Um, I used, so it's the Tia sweater, and I'm not sure how much information I gave last time, but I used Maker's Haven, um, it was a glitter sock uh, by Maker's Haven, and I, in her book box. We talked about the book mm -hmm. box, Like a Dream, and this is from the Like a Dream thing. It's, it's a great pattern. Got a lot of uh, positive ease, so I made the small. Normally, I would make a large, <laughs> but I made this small. And as you could probably see, it's got lots of room. <laughs> so, um, mm, banana bread. anyway, so today I'm wearing it, and I, I like it a lot. It's comfy, it looks nice, it sparkles fun. So, um, that's a finished object that's been done for a little while, but <laughs> shown to you in a different way. All right, okay, go ahead. So, speaking of no, your turn. Yes. The only other really fully finished fibery thing, or some mostly finished fibery thing I have to show off is a, well, one of the things that the Critical Role cast do is they oh, I have fans, they, or they have fans send them, or now they don't have fans send them gifts, but fans just fans do. send them gifts all the time. And they actually it got to the point where they had had to start, you know, recording and streaming the opening of said gifts on a separate day because they just got so many. So like, well, now do they do still that do that? Because that was a couple of years ago that this. I would assume campaign they're still doing. I would okay. assume they're still doing it. Because the one you're watching right now is how many years old? Um, the episodes. Uh, the episodes I've, I've most recently watched. Uh, beginning of 2017. Okay. So. I knew it was not like, not like a long time ago, but yeah. a couple years old. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. But I decided I wanted to make something to send the whole cast. So, I'm making a bunch of little dragons. They're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> so, here's the first, this is the first one I made. He's so cute and tiny. Let's see if we can get it to focus, focus on it. There we go. Is it so the here? main body is Madeline Tosh, Tosh Sock and Envy. The belly is a Plymouth Yarn Happy Feet. I can't remember the collar. He's so cute. So that was the first one I made. I'm gonna try if he if I if I go up close, will it it's still it's trying to zoom on your face yeah. back there. Alright. Here's another one. I need a red one. Oh he's cute. Another Madeline Tosh. Uh, tart for the they're body of so this one. Cute. Oh, and the belly so... is Witch's Brew, Morgana, and oh Venice Blood. Gosh. Very old leftovers. <laughs> I remember that, yeah. Do you have a pattern for these or do you just yeah. make it up? No, I found a pattern. Are they all the same? Yeah, it's the same pattern. The pattern is called Dragonite Chibi. What size knee what hook are you using? They're so tiny. Ah, I don't know if you can even see how tiny. 
the stitches are and they're really like nice and stiff like like you've um I am using a them B really well a B a B 2.25 millimeter hook okay okay golly it's little I got it in a plastic bag because I when I finish the pieces I put them in a plastic bag so I don't lose oh any of them because the arms are like Allison they're so cute half an inch long. I've got three more. I'm, okay, I'm show them. Okay, here. So this is the next one I did. Oh, wow. This guy's eyes a little closer together, but <laughs> it's, still, so it's still adorable. Um, the, blue, the main blue is Cascade Heritage, mm -hmm. Quattro, and the blue um, leftovers from the one of our Soft Madness stages. The, the body is? The Demogorgon's Lair. The body is? The main body, yeah, and then the contrast, his tummy. his tummy and the inner, the inner wings, the regia, jacquard. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Next one I made was same yarns, but I got one. I do. I got it. <laughs> okay, I got these. Three. Same yarns, but flipped. Oh, cute. So. <laughs> oh, cute. And then, the most, and then. Like, Ooh, this one. that one's cute too. This is a bra. Look how the yarn striped, and then look what it did to his nose. That's so cute. It's so cute. So the the main body yarn is um, Morocco socks metallic, and then the belly is uh, shoulder install Fortissima sock. Wow, it's like I'm impressed you remember basic. all these. So are they cute? Look, aren't they cute? <laughs> I'm very pleased. Yes, them. they're adorable. These are so, so right cute. Here. Oh, yes. Shoulder install Fortissima Saka. All right. In orange. Why is that all tangled up? I don't know. Super cute. Well, got, so how many more are you going to make? I've got to make... One, two, three, five. You got five got here. five so far. In the campaign I'm currently watching... Um, when all the regular cast members are actually there, there's the, the, the guy, the people that play, they're all voice actors. So, um, and one of them is actually... So they're fun to listen to. They are fun to listen mm -hmm. to. They, the role play is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the care, one of the players is only able to be there, like, part of the time, because she's, like, like, filming a show. I think it's called, like, Bright side or blind side or mm. blind side. I don't know something something along those lines. Mm -hmm. um, but where was I going with that? I had a point. Oh, how point. many? How I was many? asking how many yes. more you're gonna make. Yes. One, two, three, four, no. seven, <laughs> eight. I think I'm gonna go for twelve ish because there's okay. seven. Yeah, seven players, plus the DM, um, Matt Mercer. Got it. So the DM. Yeah, of course. And then, so yeah, so that's eight. I know. We feed him a lot. Talking about our cat. <laughs> and so, and then a couple extras in case, you know. Yeah, some of the ones that show up that aren't always there. Yeah, or guest members, or if they wanted. Right. Right. So if they 12, want to do like a twelve away. calls, what you're gonna make? Yeah, I'm this thinking Allison's fat cat. Oh, hey, hello. Look how big he is. Can hello. Hello. Do you remember me? He used to live with me until they were until they were able to take him, yes. and now he lives. Say hi, Hilo. He's, <laughs> He's gorgeous. Like, nope. He's like a panther. He's humongous. Yes. Oh He's my gosh. Big. You're so very big. dense. <laughs> very dense. But he's a dwarf. And yes. very soft. Yeah, he's a good cat. When he's okay. not being, when he's not hiding under the couch. Yes, he's a big dragon. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna try. And, I'm gonna do each dragon a little different color. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, that'll be great. So, uh, yes, good. Good way to just let leftovers. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. fun. And yeah, the pattern I'm using, it's not a Ravelry download, but it is a freebie. I think it's called like Dragonite Chibi. Where did plush. you find it then? On Ravelry. Oh, I found it on Ravelry, oh, oh, but, it, but links, it links to, links to a, like a, a blog. blog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like Dragonite Chibi Plush or something to that effect. Right, right. 
Well, like I said, a lot of the finished objects that I have, I gave away. Like, um, so I may have been making my grandkids, um, Halloween socks. I've posted them on Instagram. So for Marcus, I made him the spook socular Ooh. socks and he loved his socks. In fact, when we went to McDonald's, I was making the socks still and I took my knitting with me because I take my knitting with me everywhere I go. And As he, one does when yes, one knits. Yes, and he was so cute because he, he comes running over after playing for a little while and he goes, Granny, don't forget to knit my socks. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so I get them out, you know, and so I'm knitting on them and he loved them. And then he loved them so much he wore them two days straight. And he's like, I wore them again even though they're stinky. <laughs> He's so funny. That's adorable. So, yeah. And then, um, so I'll put a picture in. Um, and then for Heidi, I made her. Is he laughing at us over there? Are you laughing at us? Okay. Are you laughing at the cat? <laughs> yeah. Cousins in the other room playing. Um, and for okay. Heidi, I made her candy corn socks. So Heidi's two and a half. And so I Wait, made three her. Three in January. I know. So I made her socks. I had um, a yellow cuff an orange foot, and a white toe, like candy corn. So fun. She loved those as I well. I love candy corn. So that's another pair that I will try and get a picture in here. Um, and then, so when I make the grandkids' socks, I make them in sets of like four, because hmm. then I post them in the socks from oh. Stash Group, and four toddler size socks um, are equal to like one adult sense. size pair. So, uh, so now I'm also making them Christmas socks. So well, I finished Marcus's. So here, here are his. Cute. That's there's actually two there. <laughs> so this pattern is Swirl E socks. Cute. By Prairie Girl Designs, I think. And I just adapted it. Oh no, I just did the smallest size, 56 stitches, but I used a size zero needle because he's three and a half. So normally I would do like 48 stitches for him mm. or 52 maybe. So I did 56 I on the small size with a size zero needle. And, and the yarn is um, Desert Vista Dye Works, mm. You're a Mean One. Nice. So this is Marcus's Grinchy Socks. And then I had a, a red mini. Um, I got a red mini to go with one of my other colorways. The West Side Story colorway, I think. Oh. I had a red Desert Fist Dye mini. So I, I did I did a different heel than what was in the pattern. I did um, a little mini flap, um, a 10 row mini flap that gives me five slip stitches. Then I did a short row heel. And then I just decreased the gusset stitches of just, you know, I picked up five, five stitches mm -hmm. along here and then decreased. There you go. So I like how it looks. But yeah. I always think that most people, unless you have flat feet, most people need a little bit of a gusset. Just a little bit of one. Mm -hmm. And and they have wide feet. Do they? Well, at least Heidi does. Hmm. Heidi's feet are really big around. It's kind of hmm. funny how big her feet are. Um, Marcus's feet are slender. So he might not have needed this, but he tried them on and they fit him perfect. That's good. And he he loves them. So that's another, and I haven't given them to him yet because I wanted to get all the grandkids. So I'm making Grinch socks for all the grandkids. So I'm working a Heidi's pair and I'll show that in our whips. When we're doing whips, I will show Heidi's. And so hers are a little smaller than his. And then I'm also going to make a pair for Flora as well. So all three grandkids he's, will have. He's resting on both of us. Yes, he is. He's he is on both of us. <laughs> um, I cat. love cats. Um, cats are great. So yeah, all three grandkids will have Grinch, Christmas Grinch socks. That'll be fun. So, um, but I only have one pair completely done yet. And then the uh, last pair I have to show of socks are my, what? What? I might have shown these last time as a whip, maybe. I think you did. I think I did. So this is, um... A month ago and the days are blurring together. Right. Um, this, I see, can you see both of, mm. both of them there? Ooh, um... Wait. Banana bread. This is a scrappy pair. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> uh, it's just helical, helical knitting, mm. vanilla. Nice. And I used, um, actually a total of four 
-hmm. in the body, four variegated yarns in the body with solid leftovers. Um, nice. Although I did run out, so if you look closely, you can see that one of my brown cuffs is oh. a little different than the other. Oh. This one's a little uh, warmer. warmer? Oh. Yeah. And it's just because I ran out of my other brown, and so I had to use a different brown. Oh. But um, these are, I had four leftover balls of variegated yarns that all had some brown in them. Oh, so there I had you like a brown, brown, red, and blue and purple, nice. and another one that was brown and pink, and then another one that was like brown and blue and red, different shades of blue and red. Anyway, Cat, you're heavy. He is heavy. <laughs> so and I so when I did the helical knitting, I used <coughs> there we go. Um, Grace oh, O'Neill's nice. tutorial um, from Babbles Traveling Yarns uh, on YouTube. She has a tutorial for her helical jugless stripe knitting and she he basically it's for one row so if you're doing like each stripe two rows this doesn't work it's for like one row mm. but um, as you're knitting with one color you after you have all your colors on you stop two or three I did two she does three because I was doing socks and she was doing a hat. But three mm. stitches before you get to the other yarn. And then you just slip those last three stitches. And then keep knitting with the next yarn. Oh. And then stop three stitches before then. And then slip them. Anyway, and it kind of creates... There's no uh, yarn twisting. There's no line like you sometimes get inside oh. that's totally smooth inside. You know, That's cool. Yeah. And these are still damp. So... I was waiting for them to get, I was washing them today, mm -hmm. and so I, they're still damp right now. <laughs> um, but I think that's all I have. That's all the finished objects I have with me. Mm -hmm. I finished a couple of different things for the store, the shop samples, mm, but they're nice. in the store. Um, I work at the Naughty Lamb in Forest Grove, and I finished a couple of cowls with Shibui nice. and with Biche Bouche. So those are the two cowl. <laughs> <laughs> it's a French, it's ah. a French yarn, and so I did a cowl with nice. that, a colorwork cowl, Ooh. and then I did a uh, a cowl with the new um, Shibui Nest, which is their DK, mm. um, with the uh, held soft together and with, well, held together with their silk cloud. Oh. So it's very very soft and fluffy and warm, and so, but those are the store. I don't know. Yeah, project I only I presume, right? I do, and okay. I can link them. Um, I only work on them when I'm at the shop, so I mm. never have them with me ah. at home. Um, the only time I took them home was at the very end, just to block them, and that was really, you know, yarn bars. Uh, so that's it for me. Do you have any more finished objects? The only other things I have finished are not fiber related. That's okay. But it's a finished they object, are drawing object. So still an object. Yes. <laughs> so. Depending on, you know, you guys watching, some of you may have heard of a drawing challenge called Inktober, where basically you, you have a prompt list and you draw something with like, ink of some kind. Okay. So, for me, I'm, as of late, I, most of my art has been digital on my tablet. Anyone that follows it, her on Instagram probably sees her stuff. Yes, if you're a okay, so. viewer, I've, you've probably seen some of my mermaid drawings. Or paintings. I just don't know whether to call them paintings or drawings. But well, I, it, yeah, I, I don't know. That's, yeah, yeah. But I've, I've done some. So what is your painting. Instagram name? Wyvern seven one three. Right. Just to. And it's my. It's also my Ravelry name. Right. Deviant Art, Tumblr. Right. All those internet places. Uh, but so I've been doing Inktober for the first time this year. Because, you know, I don't do traditional art very often anymore. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I mix, let's mix it up a little bit. And But it's because I work... paper and ink. I know. Just like the old days. Imagine that. <laughs> but because I work full-time now, um, over at the... I think that's where the dealership, actually. Which is pretty awesome. Enjoying that. Taking full advantage of benefits already. <laughs> I think you mentioned that last time. I think I did. Yeah. I think I did. It's anyway. It's fine. It's fine. So, but because of that, I don't have a huge amount of time 
and the day to draw. So I've been drawing on just quarter size sheets of drawing paper. So okay, no, eight and a half by eleven, chopped down into quarters. Right. So let's see them. So I'm not gonna show all of them because some of them are kind of like eh, whatever. But I'm gonna show you some of show my your favorites. favorites. Yeah. So this was day two. The prompt was mindless. I loved that one. Yes, it's a mind flayer, also known as an illithid, and they suck brains, basically. Cool. So, I've been on a huge D&D kick lately, just watching Kirk roll. It's just like, ah, D&D, all the things! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this was day three, the prompt was bait. Oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> seeing a tiny little dragon with a horde of coins. Like a, little, <laughs> like a little dude in the bush. So who is he trying bushes. to trap? The little dude or somebody is else to, is trying to trap. The little dude hiding here. Oh, I see. I is see. He's trying to trap the dragon. Trying to trap the dragon. Okay, gotcha. And then the eleven the prompt was snow. The little dragon shooting in the snow. And Not melting it with his fire, eh? No, ice dragon or whatever. Uh, day 15 was, the prompt was Legend. I drew a Medusa. Yeah. I like her snake hair. Her snake hair. Her snake hair is fun. Her snake hair. Do you think you'll color any of these? I, I'd like to. Mm -hmm. Maybe not on them. Make copies I'll, and color them like here's yeah, the color book. I'll, I'll probably do that. Make copies. I'll probably scan them and di color them digitally. Okay. Yeah. Um, 16, or... 16. Day 16, the prompt was wild. So, I drew... You have to explain that one yeah, to me. Yeah, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, in, the, in Dungeons and Dragons, one of the classes you can pick is a sorcerer. Which is basically, unlike like a wizard that they study to get their magic, a sorcerer, they have like an innate magic ability. Okay. Usually some kind of event or fancy, powerful, magical ancestor. One of the types of sorcerers is it's called wild magic. Okay. So basically when you, you cast a spell there's a chance for it to do something completely random and wild that you don't intend it to do. Okay. There is a table in the player's handbook and one of the options that you just roll, roll the dice to random. Oh yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you roll the dice and it randomly does the thing and it's like, so like so for this one I do this little wizardly looking character Trying to catch fireball and gets himself turned into a potted plant. So he gets himself turned he, into a potted plant. He himself and is what turned was, into what was a the potted plant. Again for that one? Wild. Wild. Okay. So, wild. <laughs> wild magic. The potted plant is only a temporary thing. It only lasts up to like a minute or something. But still, though, it's still funny. It was in the middle of a battle. That would be bad. Yeah. So fireball. Nope. Potted plant. <laughs> <laughs> and then day seventeen was ornament. Oh, okay. So I drew a tiefling. Putting a horn ornament on her horn. So. Yeah. Cool. Very nice. Thank you. I've been. I mean, it's having just, fun. Do you draw them in pencil first yes. and go over them with pen? Okay. I draw them in pencil first and then I just go in with a fine, shit, a fine tip sharpie. Okay. Cool. And I've got a couple Very other cool. digital drawings that I've finished as well. Okay. Since we're inside, I can actually show them off without having, you know, screen reflection. I can't remember if I showed well, this. we were inside last time, too. We yeah, just... I can't remember if I showed this last time. You but did, I think I but did. I'm not sure if it was But done. this is um, my current character. It's not the focus. But this is my current character. He's a dragonborn. Then I drew this recently. This is another character idea I have. Uh, oh, my other fingers are touching the thing. This is one of my husband's characters and one of my characters from a. Maybe tip it down a little bit. There you go. A one shot we did over the over the, the summer. So my character is the little gnome, and his character is the big Goliath dude. That was really fun. <laughs> and then the most recent one I finished is this gal. I don't know how well you can see reflection because reflection and screen, but there you you get the idea. <laughs> I will eventually post these online. Eventually, when I get around, so you can to look it. them up on yes. Instagram. One of these yeah, days. Yeah, go on Instagram. I may get them on my DeviantArt eventually. Maybe I haven't uploaded anything there in a while. All right, that's pretty much all I've got for finished things. For finished things, okay. 
moving on to whips. So since I was talking about the Christmas socks, I will go ahead and show Heidi's Christmas socks. <laughs> um, I'm just doing them all out of the same yarn. Like I said, the Desert Vista Dye Works, you're a mean one. So I have one done, actually, of Heidi's. Oh, so cute. So um, it is called High Hopes, I think. Let me look it up here. Yes, so this is High Hopes. And I adapted it for um, two-year-old size, so because it's got like a um, an eight-stitch pattern repeat, so um, it's 48 stitches on size zero needles. Normally for her, I would do like mm. 44, but um, but size zero needle 48 um, works well. So she also has a different colored heel. Um, this is just something from my stash. Nice. Um, it, looks, it matches. It perfectly. matches the green pretty well. I wanted to make it easy on their mama, my daughter, for in laundry. Mm. Even though they are a different size, still at a glance, mm -hmm. they are kind of the same color. So just to have different colored heels makes it easier to tell them apart at a glance. So these are these are Heidi's. So I have one. It would be helpful for them to tell each other's each other's socks apart. Right, and then I've got the beginnings of sock two. I've got the cuff and. Half of, half of one repeat. <laughs> so that's all I've gotten done on that. And then for Flora's, I have just a weeny bit left of that red mini Desert Vista oh. Dye Works mini. So I'll probably do the heels. It looks really different on the. They're so weeny weeny bit. Yeah, but it'll be enough for heels for Flora. Mm -hmm. Because Flora no one, is... Two and a half months. Right. Now, these are Christmas socks, and I told the kids, you can't have them until December 1st. Right now, you can just wear <laughs> your Halloween socks for the rest of this month, and you can wear them in November, too. Because But these, you know, they can't have... You know, Jason asked me, my husband asked me, if I was going to give them to them for Christmas. Mm. And I went, no, I want them to be able to wear them throughout the mm -hmm. Christmas season. So I'll sense. give them to them at the beginning of the month. And I wanted them to try them on to make sure they fit. Yeah. But these are in my Halloween bag <laughs> because it is almost Halloween after all. This so I don't Halloween. know who made this, this bag. Halloween. I got it as a prize in one of the sock groups I'm in. This little box bag. But I love the bright rainbow, rainbow sh skulls. sugar skulls. It's so fun. So they're kind of, kind of it's covered it's in cat hair right now. But so that's, that's that one. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind. That is okay. You're singing back here. You are singing. I'm gonna show one more thing, and then you can show a couple things. All right. So the next thing that I have started is okay. So last month, Alice and I were wearing our ranunculus sweaters, and Kirsten saw it and went, "Well, I want a ranunculus sweater too." <laughs> so, um, in our shop, we carry Murray and Co. Mm. yarn. In fact, that was one of the things I was going to bring, was we had a, a trunk show, Murray, um, Sarah oh. of Murray & Co., uh, yeah, Wool Goods, came and did a trunk show, yes, last weekend, uh, yeah, not yesterday weekend, but last weekend, so, what, the 12th, the 16th, no, 14th, whatever that weekend 12th, 13th, okay, as well as the Saturday, yes, so she did a, a, a trunk show at our, at our shop, and, um, so I got to meet her, and that was fun. Nice. And so we carry. So this is her tag, and we carry her yarns in our shop nice. as well. And I did get some lovely yarn, and I forgot to bring it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's. But she, a bit lot, she's a lot going on super, yesterday. So. Super nice, super sweet, and she's an Oregonian. Oh, and she? yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And her colors are outstanding. Her Harry Potter colorways are outstanding. Mm. Um, Dumbledore's nice. Office, old books. Oh, they're just Ooh. great. Um, the one I got was Thestrals Don't Like Apples. And it's black oh, with colors in it. Oh, that one. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. And then I got I Halloween in the Great Hall. And it's also great. A oh, sock set of hers. So, Oh, is that the brown with the purple mini? Yeah. Okay. So this one, though, is called Coastal Forest. Mm -hmm. So Kirsten wanted her ranunculus sweater in green. So I went mm -hmm. around one day at work, went around through the shop, and I was pulling all the green yarns out. And I laid them all out in a row and took a picture. I was like, okay, which green yarns do you want for your sweater? And she chose this one, the Murray & Co. 
And um, are you gonna fade it or just? No, just I'm do not the one sure color? I'm gonna need to. They're pretty. They're really close. Oh, are they, are they not the same? They are the same. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna need to fade them at all. I mean, I guess I meant fade it like I faded mine. Oh, I didn't get two different colors. Okay, I and did it like I'm doing it like one. mine. And mine I gotcha. had so yeah. mine I also used Murray and Co. And I used her Graveyard Bats colorway. That's I remember it's black right. and it has some charcoal gray, other bits of color in it. That's so she right. wanted okay. green, so I got two skeins because mm, it takes about a skein great. and a half to do the ranunculus. My it'll take a little longer because Kira or a little bit more because Kirsten wants her long sleeves. So she wants the long mm. billowy sleeves, not the sleeveless the like you and I did. Like did. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, hopefully do the two skeins will do it. Do the sleeves two at a time. Well, I just hope I don't... Yeah. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about running out. Mm. Not color. Because my other... Because the other Coastal Forest skeins we have in the shop are from a different dye lot. Oh. I mean, indie dyers don't do dye lots. but So a different batch, whatever. And this batch is a little... Um, it's just different. Mm. And so well, they would really be saying, Do the... Um, if you do the sleeves two at a time, the way if you run out, they'll at least be the same length. <laughs> they'll be that length. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's that. So that's, I, what, that's what I meant. Okay, gotcha. So I have started it. Ooh. Started it when it was at Kirsten's house last week. And, I mean, I haven't gotten very far, as you can see. But I, I'm using size 10 needles. But you've got progress. Yeah. So I just did... I did... There's two uh, cast-ons for the collars. Mm. On my black one, I did the... Um, uh, tubular cast on which is the mm. smaller neck and then for my other one that I'm still working on at home I did the looser mm -hmm. one which is a little bit wider like neck. Double twist. Double twist. Double backward loop. Yeah something Double like twist that. backward loop something like that. That's the one I did. For so mine. and that's what I did on this one too so it's nice and stretchy mm -hmm. on her on this. Yeah. So. Although because my even though it's I, hard to, I knit the one size it's a lot because I'm it's hard to see. Larger, right? It fits me like the neckline, like overall, it fits me slimmer than yeah. the boxy intent. But the yeah. neckline on me looks pretty much identical size wise to yours. Yeah, yeah, it does. Even though we did two different cast ons. So, anyway, that's how far as I've gotten so far. I wanted to get a little bit more done to show you, but I just didn't because I was working on Heidi socks. So, yep, and that's in this nice, cute, big sweater bag. It's not a sweater bag, but it's. It's a bigger bag. I got this mm -hmm. at the zombie knit apocalypse like five oh, years ago. Super. I cute. won it as a prize. It's oh, by the Plover Bird, and she doesn't even nice. make bags anymore. But I love it. Really. So it's it's a good size for a smallish sweater. Nice it's a nice bag. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Your turn. Well, you show some things. Yes. So you know, I've got plans to make more of those little dragons. I haven't started any more yet. Right. Right. But, but what do you have on your needles to show? Right now. What are you knitting right there? I showed this last time and... You did? Oh, you did. I yeah. did. And I was... I don't know. I want to <clears throat> say I was like... Here or something. Okay, so what is... It is now here. This. Look at that. This <laughs> is a Lothian shawl. L-O-T-H-A-N. I thought it was E-N, but it's A-N. Lothian? Lothian. L O T H I A N. Oh, okay. Me. It's like L O T H A N. Sorry. Is I A N. Okay. Oh, so that's gorgeous, Allison. So the gray oh. is. Oh my god. The gray is Malabrigo that. Makita in Unicornio. Okay. I remember when you got mm -hmm. that uh, Yarn Crawl. Yes. This blue was stashed. It's uh, Madeline Tosh. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, Tosh Marino Light mm. in Baroque Violet, I believe. Okay. And look at then you got all these oh fun colors in here. You've oh. got so this one. Are you using unicorn tails? Malintosh unicorn tails. <laughs> Sorry. This one is uh, Malintosh unicorn tail in hydroponic. Okay. This one, the pink. Yeah. This one is also unicorn tail in death by elocution, I believe. Okay. Uh, this one is regular Tosh Marino Light leftovers in Chartreuse. This one is Nitpicks Chroma. I don't remember the color name, but it's it's what 
if you any of you have worked with chroma, you know it's like a it changes. It, it's a gradient. Yeah. So I just happened to be in a pink section, so it worked out nicely. And then this blue is another Tosh Marino light left over uh, Oceana, I think. Okay. And then I've got, and then starting over. And then it just goes yeah back over here the hydroponic death elocution mm -hmm. the chartreuse. Oh. And then I'll I can't be, wait to see it all done. Oh, the colors. I'm are... getting I'm getting close. Ooh, I love it. I like how the fade turned out. I mean, it's almost stripey. Mm. So is the pattern it, written to fade, or did no, you fade it? I faded it because oh, nice. I didn't want to have to buy a second skein of the gray. Sure, sure. And it looks it looks gorgeous like so, that. I actually love that. So yeah, so you finish the right side row, the wrong side row, and then I'm doing another, I'm doing another pass with... Um, one of the the pink. Can you but, go ahead? Where I'm at in the in that in that. So that's the chroma. So I, I'll be getting into it. a little bit darker pink. So it'll be interesting. Oh, that will be interesting. So can you remind me now what the name of the pattern is? Alfian. I mean, that's right. That's right. We had a conversation about that. Oh, I have short memory. I'm old. You're not that old. Oh. Yeah. It's it's not a free pattern, but I I don't remember buying it. So I'm wondering if I added it to my library, if it was like free temporarily when it released. Sometimes, you know, when a mm -hmm. new pattern comes out, you so know, it's probably something like that. that. Or, mm -hmm. or maybe I got it at like a, maybe it was like on sale for a really good price. And I was like, yeah, fine. Are you, are you like, saying it's expensive now or something? No, it's oh. not expensive. Oh, okay. It's just when I picked it up, it was either really cheap or, or free, but it's not free right now. I don't think it's that expensive. Okay. A couple bucks. All right. Well, that is absolutely I'm really like gorgeous. It. I mean it's all it's stunning it's all garter stitch it's so it's really squishy I love garter stitch I used to hate garter stitch but now I kind of like it it's just really squishy yeah and and cozy Justina Lorkowska okay is the designer J-U-S-T-Y-N-A Lorkowska L-O-R-K-O-W-S-K-A it's a six dollar oh. pattern so it's not too bad no I love no it's not gorgeous. Not at all. I love it. All right. It's really pretty. And do you have anything else to show? Not knitting crocheting related. Okay. I have a sewing whip. Okay. Well, I'm going to show a couple more I can show knitting crochet either. ones. And then you can show your sewing one. That How works. That? So oh. I've started the fall... In my, it's in my mm -hmm. badass knitter bag. I love that bag. It's so um, fun. <laughs> I'm way behind the times. So Tammy Gore is a beautiful, beautiful designer. I love everything that she has designed. Mm. Tammy Gore. Her shawls. Go check her out. Her shawls are gorgeous. All of them. So she has a the hint of autumn and cal that started. I think it started in September. I'm just behind because <laughs> I'm just life. behind because life. Yeah, I don't even have my first sheet anymore to tell me when <laughs> it started. But basically, all the clues are out now, and I didn't yeah. deliberately wait until all the clues were out to start it. I know just sometimes life happens, right? Sometimes people do, and sometimes I do. I want to see if I like it <laughs> or not before I invest all the time in yarn. But I've seen enough of her designs to know that I knew I'd love it. Mm -hmm. And so I wasn't worried about that. I just didn't have time to start it until... So by the time I started Clue 1, I think there's six clues total. Mm -hmm. And the sixth one just came out like ah. last week or something. Um, I'd started it when there, when the fifth clue, fourth or fifth clue came out. So okay. I wasn't totally... But just, Could have just catch mostly. Up, but it, it wouldn't be able to just do like mostly. anything else. So it's called the Hint of Autumn M. Cal. Mm. It's a gorgeous shawl. I have seen it done because, you know, I'm fine. <laughs> but I have clue one done, at least, anyway. Ooh. So the, these are the colors. Okay, so these are the two main colors I'm using. Ooh. So the red is not that. It's kind of... It's a bit more of a... It's kind of hard to see what the you actual know, red is. Light, lighting. Fall, today. Oregon. It's, it's tricky to get the lighting right. It's gray today. Yeah. And so, but it is. Yeah, it looks yellow in here. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I don't even have my tag. I don't even know and what it is. But the, but the taupe color 
is the Cloudborn. I know that they don't, I don't think they even make yarn anymore because now the it's... The red is almost like a brick color, but not quite as brown as brick. Yeah. It's Cloudborn pretty. in um, the Taupe Heather. And I think um, it was a Craftsy yarn and mm -hmm. now it's Blueprint. So I don't know oh. if they still do Cloudborn fibers anymore or not. I haven't looked it up in a while. I don't know. And then the red I got in a yarn box a while ago. Mm -hmm. I'm sure my tag's in here somewhere. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah. It is Lattes and Llamas. Nice. In the Mount Doom colorway. Is that focusing? It's nice. Focusing. Lattes and Llamas in the Mount Doom colorway. So, it's not focusing. No, I'm trying to get my face behind it so it doesn't focus on my face. It's okay. So, uh, Lattes and Llamas. Yeah, the, so masquerade yarn. Yeah, masquerade the, yarn. Is so it's a blue face Lester, 80% blue face Lester, and 20% silk. Oh, ooh. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's why it's got this nice sheen to it. And then I haven't decided on my ooh. third third color yet. It's supposed to have a third. Make a blue go patriotic. <laughs> it's a third. I can't remember if there's three colors or four colors. Mm. I think there's four colors. Ooh. I can't remember now. But I have all these, like I have, I have a golden color Ooh. from Hazelnuts, and I have a black, and I have this teal. Ooh. Anyway, I haven't decided yet. I'll decide when I get there. When I get to that point where I'm ready to put in my other colors, then I will cross that bridge when we get to it. Well, there you go. I'm using some scraps for it. However, oh. let's get on with the thing. Let's actually show Ooh. what I've got done so far. I know, I know. It's so great. Oh, okay. So it's this is so what I've got cool. done so far. This is clue one. Well, it's also garter stitch. It's garter stitch. Really squishy. And it's kind of, it's asymmetrical. And um, it's got these little bits of eyelets and mm -hmm. lace in there. So this is clue one. It's pretty. I really like it. Yeah, I really like it. Yes, this is my progress keeper. That's a s'more. I got it from Whips on Sticks. Nice. It's a little s'more. It's super cute. It is so cute. It's just, very detailed too. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. So that shows my right side, of course. <laughs> that's what that's for. Nice. So anyway, clue one is done with that, and um, I, I just need to get these grind kit socks done, and then I can <laughs> go back to my sweaters and my shawls because it's sweater weather, and I want to finish yes, my it sweater. Yes, it is. Finally. Yes. So that's that's that. I'm not really participating in the in the MCAL on Ravelry so much just because I'm so behind. So I haven't posted anything, but uh, just doing the doing this the shawl because I really like the pattern. So um, I have a few more. I have one. Do I have? I have. Yes. What is this? What is this? <laughs> what am I doing? I have one. Two, I have three more knitting projects that I brought to show. Okay. So, and you have a sewing project. I have one sewing project, so. What well, do you want to do? Go ahead and show yours. Since okay. we're on the topic of knitting. Since we're on the topic of knitting? Yes. Okay. So I'm, I'm teaching a class. Well, okay. <laughs> I was scheduled to teach class uh, at the shop, Mosaic Knitting. Uh, a hat called the, uh, um, when we were going to use the pattern, oh. the ice time hat. It's an ice time hat on Ravelry. Hmm. Um, but however, nobody signed up with the class, so the class got canceled, oh. which is fine. I'm not, you know, whatever. <laughs> but I oh, had started the hat because I thought, well, I probably should. I feel like um, I, I know a pattern a little bit better, so to help other people with it and to teach it, it's kind of helpful if you've mm. actually done the pattern. Yeah. Even though I know how to do hats, I know how to do mosaic knitting. Um, so I did start it with some of my stash. Ooh. This is the, um, so the gray is, it's, uh, is it a DK weight? It's a DK weight hat. Hmm. So this is Kenzie, the gray. Yeah. I don't know how many of you are familiar with Kenzie, but it is <laughs> very, hmm. very Excuse nice me. yarn by Haiku. So it Ooh. is 50% Ooh, merino, 25% nylon, 10% angora, 10% alpaca, oh and 5% silk. Oh my, there's all sorts of things in there. It's really cool. 
It's really, really cool. So That's this nice. color is, oh, color gray is, salt. Oh, okay. It's the gray. 1002. Yes, 1002. It's a gray salt colorway. And then I had some Knit Picks Swish Decay mm. in the Wonderland Heather. So these are the two colors I'm using for my Ice Time hat. It is it is technically mosaic, so here's what I've got done so far. Look, but, it's, but it's Hi. slip stitches to, that make cables. They're a little oh, one by one. So you're like, you slip, you know, your, your, what, your main color mm -hmm. for two rows, which is what mosaic knitting is. Mm -hmm. But then you're, but then you're making a, a cable with it. Oh, interesting. Cross, and you're not really doing anything with the gray. They're just kind of, it's just, just kind of there as a background. Yeah. And it's gorgeous. Mm. It's a beautiful pattern and I love it, but mm -hmm. it, it has a different, it's just a little different than in your classic mosaic, mm -hmm. which is actually creating a design with slip stitches. It's not, and this has got more, um, texture. Well, it's got the cables. I mean, it's a versus a color, like a mock color work. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm working on that. But I'm not teaching the class anymore, so I'm just having it just to have for a hat. There you go. Yeah. So, and this is another bag I got at the Zombie Knit Apocalypse. This one is a Silver Shed. And I just bought this one there. Again, it was like five years ago. And she makes beautiful bags as well. I love That's her really bags. Pretty. I think if you've probably so, shown that bag before. I probably have. I but I know we have shown all your bags. No, I don't know that I've shown all of them. Oh. I have a lot I mean, of I mean, all the ones you've shown today, lady. I feel like you've shown them all. Before. I don't think I've sold the bunny bag before. You it doesn't sure? matter. It doesn't matter though. Doesn't matter. Are you guys sick of seeing all my bags? You've seen it before, maybe if you've seen. Awesome. But maybe I'm if you're new, new, maybe you haven't yeah. seen it before. Very good point. So okay, Ooh. two more. I have too many whips. I actually I have two more things to show. That are my current Ooh, that's whips. Pretty. So this one is in my cute little owl bag. This is one of the that's first. Adorable. Um, project bags I ever got. Stitch, oh, Stitch by Jessalou. Stitch, Stitch by Jessalou. I have one of her bags. Yeah, and I love the little owls and the little so brown. I use it in the fall all the time because it's kind of my fall bag. Nice. And um, Kirsten was telling me that she didn't have any Christmas socks. I'd make Christmas socks for Allison and for her husband, John. Not Allison's husband, but Kirsten's husband, John. <laughs> um... <laughs> And, but not for Kirsten, and I don't know if the other girls has. But anyway, she was like, well, I want some Christmas socks, too. So last year, I got an advent calendar, you know, the um, yarn advent calendars mm -hmm. that people get. I got one of those from Sarah oh, Craft. The, the Dust of Snow wrap that you've And I did the Dust of Snow wrap with um, really Helen Stewart's Knit Vent. And I used all my minis in the Dust of Snow wrap. Well, on Christmas Day, day 25, you got to open a full skein. Ooh. And I had, I probably showed it. But so the, the skein was this one, and it's called oh, it's Pink a... Bike for Christmas. Sparkly. So it's a sparkle. I one of the Grocery Girl ones. Nope. Okay. This one was from Sarah Craft, and it was um yeah it was the, the Christmas Day. Oh, Sarah okay. Craft, and it was the Christmas pretty. Day special one. Pretty pretty. Yeah. So um I'm doing like this for Christmas socks for Kirsten. Nice. And then I have some red and some green leftovers oh, that I'm going to do fine. for, I'll probably do, I might switch them out. I may do like one red cuff and one green cuff and one, not cuff, I'm not doing the cuffs, heels, heels and toes. Mm. So I might do a, a red heel on one and a green heel on the other and a red and then, toe on one and a green toe on the other. Because the cuff I've already done. So this is what I've got so far. Ooh. So this pattern is um, the... It's like a herringbone. Kind of. I keep saying Jemima, but it's not the Jemima. So I have the socks from twisted stitches? Kay Jones of the Baker Bears, her Miss Potter Sock Club. I got both of them. She has a new one out. But this is from the first club. And it's, um, she had Jemima and Peter Thomasina. So this is the Thomasina pattern. Ooh. And it's kind of, it's kind of in a vanilla-esque, but it's got some interest to it. And yeah. I'm not going to give away all the details because it's a paid-for pattern. But oh. um, I love her patterns. I love her podcast. Mm -hmm. I love their podcast. They're, they're both pretty great. If you ever had the chance to watch the Bakery Bears, 
I highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. They are really fun. And she has some great, great patterns. So this is, um, she has Pretty. some good tutorials on how she does her heels and picking up gusset stitches for um, a, a garter edge mm. heel flap. And I just picked the stitches up. <laughs> <laughs> but she has a really good method of doing it that I really, really like. Mm. So I'm anyway, check it out. that's what this one is. It's a little, it's not as fast as just straight stockinette, even though it kind of just looks like fancy stockinette. And mm. I don't normally knit on two oh. cirques like that. I don't like all the needles dangling down, but all my other ones were busy. Busy and other projects. Well, there you go then. So that's what I did. Yes, I did buy a new needle organizer at oh, yeah. Oregon Flock and Fiber. Which I also did. It's didn't. bears all over it, right? Yep. It's super cute, cute, but I, of course, forgot to bring that to show as well. So that's Kirsten's Busy weekend. Christmas socks. And then one more thing to show. This is in this lovely bag that Allison made for me for my birthday. Yeah. Um, quilted with dragonflies on it. And this is also by Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears. And this is in her from her Swish and Flick collective, mm -hmm. which was a Harry Potter themed collection of patterns, and she's been releasing them about once a month, I think. Oh. And um, so Kay's writing the patterns, and her husband Dan is writing little bits of a story. Oh, that's fun! That kind of coincides with the Harry Potter world. Oh, like a fan fiction. Kind of, yeah. So oh, this cool. one was the, I made the Choose Your House socks, which was the bonus pattern at the very beginning. Um, and I made, for that, right? uh, yeah, Slytherin. And then I made um, the snakes, something or other snakes, the sock pattern that came out. And I made those for Ashley. And I didn't even show them last time because I'd given them to Ashley to mm -hmm. take to Alaska. I talked about them last, in the mm -hmm. last podcast though. And this one is the burrow wrap. She just had a brand new pattern come out. I just got a, uh, update in my, oh. in my library. It's a shawl. It's beautiful. Ooh, that's always They're fun. all really fun patterns. So this is the burrow wrap. I'm actually making it to put on my bed, like a bed scarf. Oh, you know, so. like what your dust of snow wrap is doing right now. Right. I just, nice. cause I have a, our, our comforter cover, our duvet cover is just plain white. And boring. Uh, well, I mean, it's not totally boring. I like it, but this adds a pop of color. So, sure. um, it this, goes with a lot. the pop of color that we have in there is like a robin's egg blue, which is my favorite color, turquoise, whatever. So I basically have a whole bunch Ooh. of, Oh, that one! So this one you hold together. Yeah, you helped me pick yarns for this. I did! So you hold did together me. a, a mohair with a fingering weight. Oh, so and you have, like, I think she was using nine hmm. 50 grams. Nine yeah, 50 grams. Yeah, sounds about right. Minis. They're not really minis. Nine 50 gram skeins, balls, whatever. Sounds about right. And I'm using 100 grams skeins. 100 grams, but then I'm going to break them up into two mm -hmm. ends. So I've got five. Yes. Five hundred gram skeins, and I'll, I'll use. And then I want it. You know how hard it is to find a robin's egg blue mohair. We didn't have any in our shop, or I would have bought it mm -hmm. from my own shop. But I had, so I ordered that That's one. Not from and this and this that's not too bad that's this not person's bad. not even in revelry um here's another skein mm -hmm. i got a couple skeins from melodic merchandise Ooh. can you even see that from canada oh wow uh, melodic merchandise yarns they're not she's not in canada but she had she had the color Wait, i wanted you just said it wasn't canada you said she's not in canada she is in canada she's not on ravelry oh okay sorry no. Words are hard. Words are hard. So I got two skeins of that. You need three skeins. She had two. So I did happen to find another one up at the yarn store that's up by Kirsten in Tacoma. Hmm. It's actually in Gig Harbor. It's called Rainy Day Yarns in Gig Harbor. It's a fun little it's a fun little place. Kirsten and I go there 
just about every time I go visit. We drive out to get Carver and go to Rainy Day Yarns. Nice. Um, this is Sugar Plum Circus Ooh. in the Robin colorway. Good. So it's a hair different than this one. Looks but really different really, this lighting. It does, but it doesn't really look that different in real life. No, it's a lot closer. This one's just a hair off. lighter than this one. Yeah. And it won't matter once they're all put together. Yeah, exactly. And then I'm holding them together with... Um, so, yeah, so I have this one, which That's is... That's pretty. Something. <laughs> <laughs> Barking Dog Yarns ah. in Onata. So that one I got in a club, I think, a while ago. And then the other yarns I'm using are, oh gosh, some more Cloudborn. Oh, that's um, so pretty. It's white with little flecks of, like the flecks of, blue. of turquoise in there. And I've used this drip, drip dye base in mm. other shawls and things. Mm -hmm. This one, which is Zen mm. Yarn Garden that's in funny. the Shamrock colorway. And so it's got some tealy bluey greens in there nice this one is also sugar plum yarns that uh, I got at the rainy day yarns at the same time and this is Ooh. called I think it's called Robin's Nest it's pretty and then the last one is this one is by Skein that's the one we that's the one we're gonna you're gonna do like gonna in the put middle in the right? middle and I'm gonna build them on either end and this is just grays with hints of blue. Hints of blue and pretty. other colors in it. Our lighting really pretty. is terrible today. So anyway, so I have actually started it. Now I've I pulled out all my yarns. Where's my project? <laughs> Here it is. Ooh. Again, I haven't gotten super far because I put it down and was doing other things. But this is what I've gotten done so mm. far. <laughs> nice. Not very much done. <laughs> but that's pretty okay. Though. It that's is really pretty. Using. Seven. This is a size seven needle. Well, you feel massive have my compared little to <laughs> sock needles. My <laughs> heart knitting. Oh, cute. Um, progress keeper to cute. Show which side's my right side. So um, very tricky to do in garter stitch. Yes, it's very important to have that. Until that's all you want so. with this one. Until I got to these colorful parts, I had a yeah. I had to have a thing. Oh, you want to just leave it on there just because it's pretty and fun. Because I didn't use a pretty one. Oh, wow. Stop. <laughs> it was just like a simple little split ring thing. So, that's that. Someday I'll get that done, and I'll put it on our bed, and it'll be I'll so be pretty. pretty. And I'll be really excited to show it everybody. That will be fun. Okay. Okay. Sewing whip. I showed off... Show us your sewing. Um, I showed the fabric off as a, a future project last month. Mango water. Try to if I like it or not. Um, I get this little constellation fabric. So, let's go. sorry, <laughs> it's the Lemmings game on my phone. No, okay. So this is what I've got so far of the top. Oh, I remember you talking about this last time. Yeah. So I've got the V-neck on there. The actual pattern didn't have this stitching there. You're supposed to just like. Tack it down, tack the facing down in a couple places, but like, eh, I like I like the contrast color stitching look. So well, and then you know too, it'll stay. It won't exactly. start to roll, roll out. Exactly. So I still have to, you know, put the sleeves in and hem the bottom. But then it's done. Wow, cool. Someday we'll cool. get around to finishing it. Yeah, fun. What a fun, what a fun top. So, yeah, I'm excited for it. I'll yeah. Add to Have my... you tried it on? No. I'm kind of weird. I don't usually... She's weird about that. I don't she try things, things on, on until, until I'm done. I know, but that's not always a good idea. What if it doesn't fit? You, you don't know until you're all the way done. It's better yeah, to try things on yeah, as you work them so that you don't end up with a finished product that doesn't fit. And then you've done all that work, wasted all that time and fabric or yarn. Yeah, I don't know. Have you I've ever heard... have you ever had it not fit after all that? No, not that I can think of. Oh, you're lucky. You are lucky. So, yeah. Aside from you know, crocheting more dragons and other whips that I've shown off in the past <clears throat> that I haven't worked on in a while. Is that it? That's pretty much all I've got. All right. Well, 
that I've got acquisitions. I have lots of acquisitions that I brought none of. I brought I no. None. I got acquisitions. So, Elsa okay. can show hers. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> well, so, you know, when which, blah, 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 blah. So we went to Oregon Flock and Fiber Festival. I got, I got some things. So, I got. <sighs> Which one? Sorry. I'm not bored. I'm so <laughs> tired. Okay. So uh, there's one booth called Blissful Knits. That was a fun booth. That was a fun booth. Don't have a color name on this one, but this is our classic sock. We got this like charcoal, like dark charcoal, almost black, bright pink, and then neon green, and that's a full skein. Then I got some And it's fingering skein. weight? It's yes. 80, uh... 75, 25. Okay. Merino nylon. Okay. And I got these fun minis. These two she purples had... are going to be another dragon. Oh, okay. A mini dragon. Okay. And this one will probably end up in my hex. Might end up in my hexy pop blanket. And maybe something else entirely. I don't it's know. so fun. It's really so she soft. had what she called a mini bar. Yeah. And it was so super she, cool. Yeah. And so she had kind of this thing with all these little minis. Like, Buckets Let's buck, yeah. of minis, mm -hmm. and you could choose whatever minis you want for it was like whatever this price number she had. For this price, or... yeah, she had a set price. And oh, anyway, so she called her mini bar. It was really cute. That was... And her kids were running the booth yes. at the time. She herself wasn't there when she... we went in. Was... Well, she had just stepped out for a little while. I mean, oh, okay. she wasn't like not there. She just had stepped out away Ugh. to okay. do something. I think so. Her and kids then... were there, and they were so cute. They were really just like. Selling it up. They really were. <laughs> they were so they cute. They really were. <laughs> and then, the other booth I got stuff at was the Knitted Wit booth. Knitted and Wit they had a local dyer. They had a, a thing. They had uh, bins of, like, minis, partial skeins mm -hmm. that, you know, being the last day. Well, she had them the whole so, weekend. Yeah. But when we went, it was, you know, the last day of the festival. And so, it was before, it was like, they it was initially like $4 an ounce, dollar an ounce. Well, because we were there for the last hour. Oh, it was last hour. It was the last was hour last of the last, last day. Okay, that's what it was. And so, she'd reduced the price down to a dollar an ounce. So. And they're like, I think they're remnants of mm -hmm. other skeins and things. So I got this color. I have noticed too, like if you, I don't know if you've unwound the, yours. No. That's probably three mini skeins that she's wound together. Oh, okay. That she's skeined up together. And that's probably three oh, okay. mini Okay, I have weighed all of these, and mm -hmm. I noted the the weights right. on right. my cavalry stash. But it's but not like one c yarn that's good three, to know. three colors, the three individual colors. <gasps> oh! See? It's an individual. Oh! See, can I unwind it and show you? Or do you not want me to? I, you, I can wind it back up again. I work at a yarn store. I'm getting good at it. I know. Okay. I'm weird like that. Okay. I I took mine apart and rewound them in little individual oh. mini balls. I want. I kind of want to keep them like this for now. But just so you know, though, because you can see that oh, this is yeah. a separate one. See? Yep. I see it. I mm -hmm. see it. But now you know. Also, yeah. along with that, she had like a bin that was fingering. She had a bin that was sock, which is different than the fingering because the sock has the nylon in it and the fingering oh. doesn't. Then she had a bin that was DK and a bin that was worsted. Anyway, carry okay. on. Then I got, let's see, close my shop together. I got this one. Woo, that's bright. That's so fun. Bright. It's actually not quite that bright in real life, but that looked really bright on camera. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, blinding. It's just about, though. Just yeah. about. So I got that one. Got this one. You can make all kinds of cute little fun dragons. All with sorts these. of things. Got the Hufflepuff. That's cool. Got this. That's fun. And then these, I got specifically to get to make a pair of socks for Marcus. Oh, fun. He'll like those. So, this will be the alien socks. Right, right, Whenever right. I eventually get around to make. Right. Them. Well, yeah, like I said, this isn't variegated. See those three, four different skeins right there. Oh, would you look at that? Look at that. So I got one that was um, that's good to know all these shades of orange and I thought oh it's a and it turned out to be six little mini skeins of orange shades it was like a gradient almost it was kind of cool that's cool so yeah so it's that, really good to know that so that's that, my that, yeah, that, that's my 
<laughs> That's my organ flock and fiber festival haul. Haul. Yay! Then. Yeah. Knitted Wit, like I was saying, I don't know if you heard me, but she is local. Yes. Her dye studio is in Portland, and um, several of the local yarn stores around here carry her mm -hmm. yarn. Our store does not, so if I want Knitted Wit, I drive over to, for yarn's sake. Mm. <laughs> That they carry it. We have some at Entwined. Do you? I say we. There is some at Entwined. Yeah, it, you're a local yarn store here in yes. McMinnville. Yes. Um, and then, the other acquisitions, acquisitions I have, you actually gave to me. I did. So, we got from, from Rady Day Yarns. I almost waited to give you this on the podcast. On oh, screen. Like the grocery girls do. I bought you a present. That would have been fun. And I forgot and gave it to you yesterday because I was excited. <laughs> so it's smooth sport. And you get this picture that says secretly a mermaid. The color is a lesbian mermaid. And then it has this cool little tag that says secretly a mermaid on there. Totally can't read it. Not focusing, but it's this cool metal tag. It says Secretly a Mermaid on it. So it is and but that's returning... by Rainy Day Yarns, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's Rainy Day Yarns and yeah. Nick Harbor. So returning viewers will know that I love mermaids. Yes. Yes, she does. And the, and when I saw that, I'm like, well, I've got to get this game for Allison. It's all mermaidy. Yes. <laughs> and then you, um, Kier you were going, Kirsten, you and Kirsten were going through your stash yesterday. You gave Kirsten some of your yarn. I did. And I... This one caught my eye, and you let me have it. I did. Uh, Dream and Color Jilly in Pirate's Ransom. So the Jilly is a single-ply fingering mm -hmm. weight. This color was exclusively dyed for the Loopy U. It's so pretty. Yes, it was one year um, they do Camp Loopy in the summertime, Loopy oh. U. And their theme was Pirates or something. Nice. And I, think I'm, I may have to maybe find... Some kind of mermaids inspired yeah. yarn to put with this. Yeah. You know, mermaids and They kind of go together. Kind of go together, yes. Yeah. Whoa. You bumped this. <laughs> Sorry, I bumped the tripod. It's okay. So, yeah! That's my acquisition. All right. Well, I think that's it. <gasps> I think so, too. Do you have anything else to add? I don't have anything. Nothing's else coming to, to mind. So thank you everyone yeah, thank you for, for watching. watching as Welcome always. Welcome back if you're returning. That's right. And please uh, like, subscribe, click the like button, and please All subscribe. And thanks for joining us today. And we will talk with you later. Bye. Bye. Hello. All right. So here I am with Kirsten, and she is ready to show her <laughs> big time My FO Emma. of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Flora. Everybody, say Miss hello. Flora Belva Louise. Flora Belva Louise Williams. Yep. She is two and a half months old. Did you hear that? Two and a half months. Two and a half months old. Beep, 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 beep. And she loves to look at herself boop, boop, boop. in the uh, camera. Do, 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 do. Yes. Can you see yourself, baby girl? Yes. So, Ready? yes. Red gonna... socks that to mummy. Or Granny Mater. Yep. Hi. Yes. Hi, baby girl. Yes. So here she is. There she is. You should hold her closer so people can see her little face. How cute she is. Oh, look at your little face. Hopefully she won't spit up on camera, but you know. Yeah. Babies do what babies do. So people want to know how big was she and all oh. the things. So let's, let's yes, let's give all the details of this oh, FO. What please. needle size did you oh. use and what was your yarn? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, she was how big was she? Nine pounds, twelve ounces. Yes, large, large baby, large baby, and she was twenty inches long. Yeah. How long so, was your labor? Twenty-four hours. Labor was 24 hours. She was 11 days late, and she had to be induced. Oh, yes. It was a bit All of an ordeal. Things. Bit of an ordeal. I think I might have mentioned that in the last podcast, that she was 11 days late. It. And we got a beautiful baby out of it, so, you know. Yay! Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes! I know. Yes! Thank you, so. So. Anyways. Yes! Yes, so. What else do people, you think people want to know about her? 
about her. What was she named after? Who was she named after? Uh -huh. Where'd you find the names? Okay, so honestly, the name Flora, we found, I first kind of was like, huh, after watching, like, season, season three, I think, of the Great British Baking Show, and one of the contestants was Flora, and I was like, oh, what a pretty name. So, yes, and then, let's see, Belva is John's great-grandmother's name. And Louise is my grandmother's middle name. Yes. So there we have it. Oh, I forgot. So I'm not looking in the correct spot. Oh, it's fine. I haven't been poloing. Poloing? Excuse me. I haven't been podcasting, podcasting in a while. And I also probably won't be for a while because well, I'm because of this little one. Busy. I won't have time to be making a lot of things. Though I do have two projects. Hi. She loves to look, watch oh, her hello. mommy while her mommy talks. What's up, babiness? <laughs> um, I will be showing two projects that I'm working on, but... Oh, yeah, you want to show this one I'm holding her? Then you can show the Last time you guys will see me for a while. I'm yeah. so sorry. But, you know, life. <laughs> so show us what you're working okay. on. All right. So while baby's happy and while Grammy's got her. Pumpkin. So... I've been craving to make a pumpkin late lately, so this is what I have so far. I have just stuffed it. I forget. Let me see. Oh, I should probably pull up the pattern. Yeah, I found it on people Pinterest. might like to know what pattern you're yeah. doing. Yeah. So let me just real quick. And do, what yarn are you using? Just the Hoppy Lobby yarn? Ah, I think it's Red Heart. Oh, Red Heart. This is just a bunch of yarn that I got from a friend. She was getting rid of it, so I just thought I would. Hello. There it is. So I thought I would use it. Sorry to meet everyone. It's okay. No one's watching you anyway. They're Maybe all watching the baby. I know, right? Seriously, <laughs> Just focus on baby right now. Yes. So. Oh, yeah. You can maybe show that if it will show up. Sometimes the screen the screen doesn't show right. up. Right. Well. So it's off of a, a website called Meg Made with Love. So I think that's the gal who designed it. So. Oh, yeah. See, screen to screen. It's really no, no Til good. Tilt it to see if that helps. Oh, boy. A little bit. Anyway, okay, what's it called? A free pattern for a crochet pumpkin. A free pattern <laughs> for a crochet pumpkin. By who? Meg, Meg Made with Love. That's okay. the name of the website, the blog that I found it on. So, Meg anyways, Made with Love. Meg okay. Made with Love. Yeah, it's really cool. I like the so, yeah. And then the you know, texture I'll... and the spines right here. Yeah. I will um oh, I'm right here. I can't even there we are. Here we go. You know, once it's, you know, finished and I'll like, floor is you know, pretty know, put in the yarn too. and do the thing and make a stem and... <laughs> She's just watching you like, All what that in goodness. the world is this? All that goodness! It's a pumpkin, pumpkin baby nest. You like it, the pumpkin? Pumpkin. Okay. So. Alright. That's... So that's whip one. That's whip number one. And then, we gotta in, 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 introduce ourselves or our names, so. That's okay. People know who we are. Okay. And you can stick it in a little. So this won't be at the beginning. This will be like at the end. Okay. So we'll already have done all those introductions and stuff. Well, I won't have, but I know that's but okay. You can you can in introduce me later. Yeah. So I have seen a bunch of stuff on like Pinterest and Ravelry about like temperature scars and temperature blankets, and I decided that I wanted to make one. <laughs> We're like right in the camera, like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Back up a little bit so people aren't like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can <laughs> see, see your pores. Nostrils. Anyways. <laughs> and so I wanted to make one, but I was like, oh, it's the middle of the year. I missed the first of the year. So I decided that I'm going to make my temperature blanket based off of, you can just see her little head. I know her little head. <laughs> She's peeking up. Um, sorry. Bye, Mia. I decided I would make it based off the first year of her life so and i'm doing you want to a see yourself? corner to corner blank version of the temperature blanket so, so pretty i'll back up so you can see yeah so there we go see oh yeah lighting's really good right now so mm -hmm. you know the corner here is first day of her life and then you know i just every five degrees I have a new color, so this is July through. So how many squares are you? October. Doing? How many? Sorry, July through October. Mm -hmm. So how many squares are you doing per color? Um, well, per color per day. 
per day. Yeah, so per day I'm doing 24 squares per day and then... Did she just spit up? Um, or is she just like making noise? Just spitting. Okay. Yeah, 24 squares per day when there's 16 squares left over to get an 80 by 120 square, you so know, like one of these little, little squares. See a little, little square here? Yeah, it was difficult. Mom helped me because I was like, my brain. We did a little bit of math. Yeah. So the width will be 80 squares and the length will be 120 squares. And so to get that, I needed 24 squares per day with <laughs> there being 16 extra squares that I just have to randomly throw do in an somewhere. extra square here and there for yeah. for a day. Right. So, you know, th this is all Hobby Lobby yarn. Um most of it is the I love this yarn and then a couple of it is the Hobby Lobby soft and sleek. Oh, it's the yarn bee soft and sleek. So the yellow and this um like apple green is the soft and sleek and then all the rest of it is Hobby Lobby I love this yarn. Well, this is some random nip picks. This is some random, here, there we go, nip picks, but I ran out of that, and so now I switched it to a Hobby Lobby yarn, so. Cool. And I'm using a size five, five, look. Five, yeah. five millimeter? Yeah. So, I think it'll be, I don't know how big it'll be. I can't remember. Well, have you gotten its width yet? No. So. I am, ooh, here, I, I, I put a stitch marker every 20 squares, just so that I know how far along I am. So I am one. So this is the halfway point <laughs> across. <laughs> you know, poke her in the face with a needle. Oh no, I didn't. Oh, that's not what I thought It's it was. a stitch marker anyway. Yeah. So this is the halfway mark here and then I'm okay about 17 or 18 stitches across here okay. or squares across. So this is halfway. So Width pretty, wise, so. isn't it fun? So do you like it? Are you having a good time? I do. I do yeah. like, like it a lot, but I get bored only doing 24 squares a day, so I kind of let it build up and I just record my, my the temperatures yep. of the day. I do the high temperature. Yep. That's what I do on mine so, too, and I do mine once a week, and then yeah. I do all the the days for that whole week. So right. I'll, so. You're just blowing bubbles. <laughs> Hi. So there we have it. Those are the projects I'm working on. As of right now, you know, when I can, in between. Yeah, baby naps stuff. And feeding and keeping her out occupied and happy and changing and all the goodness. So as you can probably guess, I'm up in Tacoma visiting yes. Kirsten right yes. now. And I so I had a couple days off work, so I was able to pop up here and see her and baby Flora. And I don't plan to show a whole lot this time because I'm doing... Um, most of the stuff, uh, the main bulk of the podcast with <laughs> Allison. I'm actually recording that next week with her, although you will probably have seen it first because <laughs> I'm going to put this at the end of the video. Yes. But I will show a couple things because I won't have them with me next week. And that is these socks, <laughs> the socks, the knee socks that I've made for Flora. And they're really, the picture that I did of them, they look super, super long on her foot. I'm like see. holding her way up here so people can see here. Oh, she it. has super long legs. So she has super long legs. And so I, when I, when I, I um. Bother. What? <laughs> Woo! Did she do? <laughs> yes, she did. Anyway. <laughs> She's taking to pooping only once a week. Hi. Like, I'm laughing at you. Out, and then she farts Yay. throughout the week. You're really so stinky. funny. <laughs> Anyway, I made these knee socks, and it's the baby knee sock pattern, I think, on Ravelry. Let me think. And, um, <gasps> yeah, and I just made them in there. I did an extra 10 rows at the beginning. After the cuff and before the knee shaping, I did an extra 10 rows because Kirsten wanted them to be thigh, thigh highs. And... <laughs> You know, she measured her leg, and I'm like, this is a really long leg. And so, if you see my pictures on Ravelry, um, they um, they just look ridiculously long. But they fit her just perfect. So, she is off the charts for length, so, you know, at least as of right she now. She is off the charts for length. It wasn't when she was born, but she is a grown, grown, grown baby. Yep. Yay! So, the yarn I used was just some leftovers I had in my stash. This is uh, the main color, the yellow. <laughs> 
is a uh, Cascade Heritage yarns or Cascade yarn, whatever oh, it is. Baby. 150 paints. So it was like a squirt weight. Use a size two needle. And then some little leftovers of blue because I wasn't sure I had enough of the yellow and I wouldn't have. So I'm glad I used the blue. Um, and I put some ribbing in the foot, which it also wasn't in the, in the pattern. Um, to keep it on her foot. So anyway. Chatty baby. Yeah. And I don't know if I want to show the other things now or if I'll sh have already shown them on the other podcast with Allison. Maybe we'll just stick with this and yeah. make this our, our this. quick little thing and quick get back to our... How do you do and farewell from me and... Yep. And meeting Mr. F Miss Flora. Yep. And... Say bye, Flora. She's like, okay, we're done. I think she needs All right. a diaper change. All right. So. All right. Well, it was fun to have you on for a few <laughs> short minutes. So, talk to you later. <laughs> okay, bye. Specific noise. There when you she, are. When she sits up. Because we'll just be like going along, going along, talking to her. Say hello. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, no. Like in the middle of it. <laughs> There's the baby. She says, I see myself. Yes. Are you spinning up again? <laughs>